Hello and welcome back to All Things Gumball, um, the website, allthingsgumball.com. Thank you for subscribing to these daily videos. What I want to talk to you today about is flyers and business cards. Okay, this is a flyer that I had made for a business that I failed at, I have to admit. It's a wedding venue. And what I don't like about this flyer, one, the paper is fairly thick, so I had to pay for the paper. It's kind of thicker than I wanted it to be, but that was not my choice. And there's nothing on the back. There should be information on the back. Otherwise, you're wasting space. It's been so long ago that I had my own flyers for my vending business, and I found one, but look how old and disheveled it is. It's an old flyer that I made, and as well, it's got nothing on the back, which I think is a waste. And let me read it to you. I'll read to you what is on here. I'll, leave, I'll give you a little close-up of what it says. And then let me read it to you. What kind of quarter buy? A snack? Skittles? Peanut M&Ms? Jelly beans? Hot tamales? An energy boost? Now people ask me why I wrote that because they're thinking I have caffeinated candy, but I don't. Uh, the energy boost comes from candy. We get energy when we eat sugar. And then I wrote, after all of that, what can a quarter buy? How about hope and help for the, and then that's where you put your charities problems, let's say the handicapped, the blind, the children with cancer, the dog shelter, or whatever you're working with. Let me continue on. Allow Z and Z vending to place one small vending machine on your premises. Now you would not put Z and Z vending, you would put the name of your company. Allow Jones Vending or Breeze Vending to place one small vending machine on your premises and together we can help the and then your charity goes there by, tar by participating in our vending outreach program. A monthly donation is given to the national, whatever the name of your federation is, or your company, your charity. And then I wrote also after that, ZNZ Vending will also give you, the owner of this location, 20% of the sales that come from the vending machine on, the prem on your premises. Thank you for your consideration, my phone number, my name, and the name of the company. Now, this was so long ago. This was when I first started. As you see, I actually put that I will give you a percentage of the sales. I don't, I don't offer that to anybody anymore, not off the bat. I made a 1,000 of those. I passed out a 1,000 of those. It's hard to believe that I have one left. I mean, I had to scrounge around looking for that one, too. It was in a box somewhere. So that means I gave away 999, but I do remember ordering a thousand copies and I was so um, thrilled and I was having so much fun making them. I really was having high hopes that this would help me bring in more business. And as I said, I gave away about a thousand of these. Do you know how many phone calls I got? One. I got one phone call from 1,000 flyers. That's an expensive, you know, way to get a business. It's an expensive way. And on top of that, the sad thing was when they closed their store, they stole my two vending machines. I don't recommend flyers. Business cards, on the other hand, I, I think are good because you can put the business card on the inside of the machine. And let me show you. You want to put the business card on the inside, not on the outside. You don't want to put it out here. Now, why do you want to put it on the inside? Well, if a child is standing there just kind of anxious or something, you know how they play with things. They rub things and peel things off. They're going to peel off your sticker, your, machine, your business card. And if it's on the inside, when the business closes and you go there to retrieve your vending machine, you can just tell somebody, that's my machine. There's a number on the inside. Call it. It'll ring my phone. 
I mean, because think about it, if there's no number on the machine, I can go over and slap my number on the machine on the outside of the machine and tell the person who's, li you know, who's working there, hey, that's my machine, call the number. My number's right there on the machine. Anybody can do that. If it's on the inside, well, you have to have access to the inside. That means you have to have the key. So that proves that it's yours. So I do not recommend flyers. Now, you may ask why I spent so much time talking about what I have on my flyer. Well, because if you want to test my, my belief that flyers don't work, go ahead. Create your own flyer or copy my print or copy my wording. Copy my wording, word for word. Make a thousand copies and you'll see that what I'm telling you is the truth. It won't... It won't get you any sales. Now, I heard one person say that he's making flyers like this so that when the customer takes the machine, he can hand them a flyer. That would be a good idea. That's not a bad idea, in fact. But I can tell you this, that when you go door to door and you ask someone if you can put a vending machine in their store and they say, I can't make that decision, but can you leave me something for the manager to look at or the owner to look at, they will not call you back. A word to the wise is sufficient, I always say. All right, I'll catch you guys on another video. I hope these videos are helping you with your vending business. And again, thank you for subscribing to this website. And uh, I will catch you on another video. Have a good morning, have a good evening, or have a good afternoon.